Hey, all this is Sean Gerber with Reduce Cyber Risk, and this is part of my CISSP exam questions. And this is RCR exam 005. Well, this is part of domain one, security and risk assessment. So as you all know, taking the CISSP exam can be a bugger, and taking that and understanding all the questions can be a challenge. Well, this is my goal. My purpose is to get out there and get you some examples and some guidance around taking the test and also to understand why the questions are the way they are. Uh, the bottom line is you don't want to just take the test, take the test, right? You want to be able to understand why you're taking some of the, the questions and be able to do well so you can take this into your cybersecurity career going forward. All right, so let's roll right into these questions. All right, around data integrity. Now, you're ensuring that the integrity of the data which answer below best meets that description? A, data cannot be modified in an unauthorized or undetected manner. That's for data integrity. Data cannot be modified in an authorized or detected manner. Data can be modified in an unauthorized or undetected manner. Or D, none of the above. And the answer is A, data cannot be modified in an unauthorized or undetected manner. It's important to know that when you're ensuring the data of integrity is maintained, it's, it can only be done when there's basically no one can modify the data in any unauthorized way. So that's why you want to make sure that the data is in integrity. If it doesn't have that integrity around the data, you don't know what's wrong with it. And then therefore you will call into question it's what its purpose is. And you'll call into question, is it legitimate? And then that causes all kinds of challenges. So again, ensuring that integrity of the data, which answer below best meets that description. And the answer was A, data cannot be modified in an unauthorized or undetected manner. Denial of service. Availability is compromised when a denial of service occurs and is A, mitigated, B, not mitigated, C, adequate protections are implemented, A, or I should say D, a system not has non-repudiation enabled. Okay. Availability is compromised when a denial of service occurs and is, it's compromised, right? So keep that in mind. A, mitigated. B, not mitigated. C, adequate protections are implemented. D, a system has non-repudiation enabled. And the answer is B, availability is compromised when denial of service occurs and is not mitigated. Again, you want to make sure it stays available for everybody. So therefore, you didn't mitigate the problem. Hence, that's why the denial of service occurred. OSI model. Layering of security protections and or various network resources is commonly called A, the seven layer OSI model, or I like to call it the seven layer burrito. B, honeypots. D, defense in depth. D, none of the above. Okay, layering of security protections, or so layering like the burrito, and or various network resources is commonly called the seven layer burrito, OSI model, honeypots, defense in depth, or D, none of the above? And the answer is C. By layering the security protections, you create a defense in depth. And that's based on network resources. You now are creating multiple barriers. And this defense in depth strategy can definitely help in protecting your network, ensuring that people do not have access to it. And if they do, you have triggers in place to alarm you when, they, when and if they do get access to your environment. All right, here's the training I got. We talked about it. Um, basically, what it comes right down to is you can go to Udemy.com and you can get all of my domain training. So, like, give you an example. These questions come directly from the training that I put out. So, that kind of information is extremely valuable for you. You can get that at Udemy.com and you can get a great price by going to Udemy and getting that information. Just type in CISSP certification dash Sean Gerber or not even a dash, just Put Sean, S-H-O-N, I guarantee it'll come up because not many people have a name like that. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Sean Gerber, right? Okay, that's, that's I love my name. Did I ever tell you that before? Yeah, I love it. Oh, by the way, my friends call me Enrique. I like that better. And Or you can go to ReduceCyberRisk.com, C-I-S-S-P dash training, and you'll be able to get access to my videos as well. Uh, be able to, you'll go, they'll redirect you to Udemy.com. Again, Udemy.com, you can check out all my CISSP training through all my domains. All right, have a great day. We'll catch you on the flip side. See ya.